Hey everybody, I want to talk to you about something a little bit different that um, happened to me last night. Um, it's it's happened before, I've been in the company now a year, and um, it has happened before, but never to this extent. So, um, I'm with this company because I believe in this company. I know that the products work, that's why I'm with the company, that's why I'm proud to represent them. Um, but I had a very dissatisfied, unhappy angry customer last night and I can always try to see both sides rightfully so she spent a lot of money but I as I would always do and will do for anybody um I tried to remedy it I tried to help her and find out why you know her makeup wasn't doing like she thought or um she was having issues with the um makeup stand on her face and I said well of course you know primer you we gotta have a primer I don't care what it is she lives at the beach um it's, just, it's gonna be humid and nasty. I mean, you have to have a primer. That is for any brand of makeup. But um, I was trying to get to the bottom of it for her. You know, she, her, her mascara was smudging. Our mascara doesn't smudge. Our mascara doesn't run. There's something. So I had to get to the bottom of it. You want to always, bottom, she was using an oil-based makeup remover um, for her eyes. That's what that was. You can't use oil-based mixed with our um, mascara or it's gonna make it run. But bottom line is, you guys can take the negatives and turn them into a positive very easy. Now, I didn't get to do it last night. I'm going to have to touch base with her again. But when stuff like that happens, don't look at it as a bad thing. Like, oh my gosh, this person's not happy with. Just think of it as, okay, we'll get to the bottom of this. It's okay. Some people don't know a lot about makeup. Some people, um, you know, just need a little help. And that's okay. That's what we're here for. But I'm not going to pretend like every customer is 100% satisfied. I mean, sometimes it's legitimate stuff. You know, I've gotten um, a palette before, a blush before with a little chip in it. You know, you're not happy when you just spent that money on something and, um, and it's, you know, and it's messed up. So things like that, you know, I've had some customers with some issues with mascara, but I walk them through things and they usually are happy. And guys, listen to me. If there's ever any issues that you're, I'm talking to my customers and my team, so I'm going to say this, but um, if you ever purchase anything from this company or from me and you are not 100% satisfied, you are not going to upset me and you are not going to hurt my feelings or don't be embarrassed. Contact me. I want to help you. I want you to get these results. I want you to be able to love your makeup as much as I do. So you contact me if you're not loving it and be like, whoa, what's going on? Normally, there's a certain process. You can't just buy foundation and get these results. You have to, this is primer. You know, primer is what gives you the coverage. Primer is what gives you the flawless finish. Primer is what keeps it on your face. So, I just, I didn't mean for this video to go that long, but bottom line is I don't always have 100% happy customers, and that's okay. But my job is to make them happy and to make sure they're happy. And if I can't get them happy, if I can't get them to that place where they're 100% satisfied, then you know what? Our company has a 14-day money-back guarantee, and you can get every dang penny back. And I can say... With full honesty, I'm trying to think back. I, I might have had one or two people return something, but it wasn't because they were just not satisfied. It was because a color didn't work or, or something. But um, I love my customers, guys. I, I look for, I want each and every one of them to be satisfied so that they come back and you want to give them exceptional service. You can turn the negative into a positive. You can completely uh, blow them away. I have a representative under me right now who trashed me publicly, came on a post of mine saying, do not buy this crap. You can spend your money. You can get better stuff at Walmart or something. It was horrible. And she kept on and on and on. And I took it as a positive. I went to her and I said, I'm so sorry that you had this experience. You, you know, it makes me sad that you're not ex able to experience the full potential that this mascara offers. So she then in turn, I sent her a tutorial. She in turn tried the tutorial. She had her $30 mascara in the bottom of a drawer um, that she thought was crap. And she thought it, it was, and it was in her eyes, but nobody took the time to help her. So I sent her that tutorial. She tried the stuff again, fell in love with it. Guess what? She came back to that post. She publicly apologized and she joined the team and she joined this company because she know. You know, somebody took the time to help her and then she believed in it. So, I'm sorry this video went so long, but just remember you can always turn a negative into a positive. And um, if y'all ever need me for anything, let me know. Y'all have a good day.